You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP DNS. In the previous section, we have introduced and discussed various F5 wide IP load balancing algorithms, which are restricted to round robin, global availability, ratio, and topology. And we have also seen the result of round robin implementation. In this section, we are going to demonstrate other wide IP load balancing algorithm, global availability, ratio, and topology. This is the topology that we prepared in the previous sections. And based on this topology, we will demonstrate different wide IP load balancing algorithm. We have two data centers in the US and EU. And in each data center, there is an F5 device with both DNS and LTM modules enabled. We can query any of F5 DNS listeners configure on F5 devices with the IP address 2, 213, and 214 in US and Europe data center. For the name www.radio.co.com, there is a wide IP with two pools, one for the US and one for the EU, which points to the virtual LTM servers with the IP addresses 2, 211, and 2, 200. 12 and based on load balancing algorithm one of these two ip addresses will be returned in the first demonstration we see the result of global availability algorithm in the section dns gslb void ip and then void ip here we can change the load balancing algorithm and for the first scenario, I'm going to check global availability. This algorithm only returns the IP address of the virtual servers in the first pool. The virtual server in the second pools are used only if the virtual servers in the first pool are unavailable. Therefore, in this algorithm, the order of pools is important. In the current configuration, US pool is in the first order and EU pool is in the second order. Therefore, we assume that sending a DNS request to an F5 device doesn't matter which F5 device for the name www.rico-co.com will only return the IP address of the virtual server in the first pool, which is 211. Let's check together with NSLOOKUP, for example, server, the second listener to 214, and for the name www.raika-co.com, it is expected that the virtual server in the first pool, or US pool, or 211 will be returned always. You see, always 200. 11 is returned for the DNS query www.raika-co.com. If we change the order of pools in wide IP, it is expected that the IP address of the virtual server in EU pool is always returned, which is 212. Let's change the order. EU up. And then finish. Now EU pool is in the first order. And we query again 212 instead of 211. 12, 12, 12, 12. That means the order of pools in global availability algorithm is important. Then I will change again the configuration to the previous version. US pool is in the first order the second algorithm is the ratio algorithm in this algorithm each pool is assigned a ratio and traffic is routed to each pool in proportion to its ratio by default all ratios are one and to understand and demonstrate this algorithm we change the ratio of EU pool to three times of US pool. 
let's change again manage and then EU pool and we change the ratio of EU pool to three times of the US pool and then finish and now the ratio of EU pool is three and the ratio of US pool is one now traffic to the EU virtual server is expected to be routed three times more often than to the virtual server in US pool let's check together it's EU pool again EU this is US pool again EU pool EU pool US pool EU 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 you see in average uh, the IP address of Europe data center or Europe pool will be returned three times more often than the IP address of virtual server in US data center probably the most important algorithm at wide IP level is topology algorithm and then update this algorithm allows you to route traffic based on geographical location of the clients and servers and probably to the nearest data center to configure the topology algorithm we configure regions and records configuring region is optional regions are a specific areas that has meaning for our network in our example we can create a region for Europe and another region for US we can then use these regions as the request source or destination of a topology record however I am not going to use these regions but I will create them US underline region based on many options IP subnet region continent country state pool I will create based on continent and continent North America and the other EU region again based on continent and Europe and then finish now we have two regions US and EU region a topology records create it maps the origin of DNS request or request source to the best pool of the virtual servers based on proximity or weight just as an example we assign the IP address of the client subnets clients with IP subnet in the subnet 192.168.2 s24 which is my subnet are redirected to the virtual servers in EU pool in the pool EU with the weight 1 which is the default weight and another record for the clients with the IP subnet for example 10 slash 24 to the US to the virtual server in US pool and with default weight and then finish and if we check the result it is expected that always be routed to the EU pool since my IP address is in the subnet 2 0 slash 24 which is the virtual server in EU pool has the IP address 2 212 let's check 12 12 12 12 12 you see always the IP address 12 is returned to the client based on the IP address of the client if I change the IP address to other subnet it is expected that I receive the other virtual server in US data center